I am on my Titan. He is running a bubble with the helm of Saint 14, so I will just hide in that if needs be. <laughs> oh, there is no hiding. Mm -mm. There is no hiding in this, or else we would, like, when you <laughs> said carry. Yeah. yeah, when you said carry, there is none because there are double the enemies. They have murder in their eyes. They will one shot you, and there's almost nowhere that's safe. Goody. Um, and everybody, like, because you are doing almost half damage, I think the stat is at 13, 35, you're doing about 70, 65 to 70% damage to the enemies of what you would do if you were on their level. You can join me, by no the way. Joy. Yeah. At 1341 light, enemies are no longer swords. So there's a Reddit post. There's a bunch of Reddit posts today uh, echoing what I've been saying about how this game has really gone in the wrong direction of being a bounty fest. And I've been saying that ever since the very first Guardian games and the increased grind. And Bungie said they were going to, they recognized that and they were going to do less focus on bounties. And here we are. Where how, let me ask you, Chet, how do you get above 1320? What's the answer to getting above 1320? It wouldn't 1320? be bounties, would it? it it's exactly f***ing bounties. So here we are with yep. end game content, a raid, and it is punishing the people who did not do the thing that Bungie said they were going to stop doing. Right? Am I, am I right? Like, did I misquote? Well, when... They also, when they also said they were going to do that, they just made them challenges instead of more bounties. Which challenges are technically it's bounties. It's still bounties. Yeah, exa <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I can't keep up with the grind. Um, a lot of people can't keep up with the grind. And here we are with end game content where good players, legitimately good players, not only are put at a disadvantage, but can't even participate because they didn't do a bounty grind. So, the last two seasons, I think, are the only time my light level has stopped me from doing something. And that's simply because I stopped the constant grind. Right. And because it just... I'm not gaining anything except very slowly increasing my light level through the relic. And it's monotonous, and it's boring, and I stopped doing it. I started playing other games, and because I wasn't in the game... Now Eight you're punished. hours a day, five days a week. I'm punished by being so far underleveled. I'm about to get my ass kicked in a raid we sailed through last night simply because they upped the it's power. It's just light level. level. It's just light level. And I don't, nobody ever minded the light level grind. Well, a big grind we did, but it wasn't the light level grind that was a problem. It was how to get there. And here we are where I play this game almost every day. I play this game almost every day. And my light level is at 1338. And it's not because I don't play. It's because I don't focus my entire playtime on completing a bounty. I'd rather play Crucible. I'd rather play Trials. I'd rather play all these different things. And every time I play, I pick up bounties. Every time I play, I pick up bounties. But because I am not doing the tedious, boring bounties, I'm behind. And because I'm behind... I'm at a disadvantage, and for some people, they can't even participate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get a couple different accounts, and they're going to be community accounts. And I could care less if, you know, it's my account that I play on from now on. I am 100% over that. If I am playing on somebody's account, and that somebody, you know, if three people are, are trading the account back and forth to just... You know, maybe somebody likes doing Lost Sectors and just listening to music while they grind. You can play it, you know, at one point in time and during the day. And then I hop on and I play Trials. It's not to... I, I used to like to collect things for my own account, and now I, I can't do that. So I'm going to be playing on community accounts. And the goal is to just get that light level up. And so that way, if somebody wants to participate, like today, today's a perfect example why I'm so frustrated. I bet there's a ton of you out there that would love to hop in and do the master raid, but you can't because your light level's not high enough. And if we had three accounts, even four accounts, 
where we were like, hey, we can give you the login for this one. You can hop in, and you're instantly going to be a 1345 or whatever. Then we would knock this out today. But the thing holding us back is the account not being met, meeting the prerequisite of grind. And the only way to make that easier is if multiple people are using that account to just do whatever. See, like, I have a problem with, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, recover accounts. When people pay somebody else money to use their account to get them gear. That is not what we're doing here. Because nobody's going to be paying money. And the account is just going to be basically like a rental car. Where somebody, without paying money, we have three accounts sitting on the lot over here. And it's like, oh, all right. Kilo wants to play, but he's only a 1310 on his normal account. Hey, Kilo, hop on this account. It's 1345, and let's just do this raid. So you're going to be What annoys me soon. most about it is the fact that our light level is capped at 1320. If you, it's a struggle to get to 1320 because but that's we're only going up that. 10 points. So it's only pinnacle drops. Yep. But the, everything above that is reliant on the relic. Yep. You have to grind the relic to be able to get into it. It's not like, I mean, you, I'm at 1320 on my Titan. I literally have nothing to do on my Titan except bounties yeah. to grind my relic up. That's not a way to play the game. That's just monotonous, boring shite. There should be something incentivized in the game rather than saying, well, if you don't do it, you can't do the top level end game stuff. Yeah. There has to be another way to gain access there is. to this. I mean, there's there's contest mode. There's tons of different ways. I mean, people have been begging for content mode, contest mode. And Bungie's like, okay, here. And they give us something completely different, which is literally the exact opposite. Which it just, it demands you grind again. Everything, every decision they make in this game is not for the good of the player. It's for the good of getting their numbers up of people playing more and more. Playtime, playtime, playtime. And if they had and, a choice, and or money, and or money, and if they had a choice between making good content and another trick to make you play something you don't want to do again, they'll go with that trick. They've done it over and over and over again. You mean like Solstice? Exactly, <laughs> Guardian Games, all <laughs> that stuff. Joel Sanchez says, I'm curious about something. When you make a video talking about something you don't like in Destiny, do you ever get comments of people saying, "Oh, it's Bungie's game, so why shouldn't they do whatever they want?" No, but what I do get is people saying, if you don't like it, don't play it. And why do you play it if you don't like it? In fact, I had a whisper last night that I had to re respond to a guy that got banned. I was like, I don't understand. Like, you're such a bitch. You play Crucible, but you hate it. Why do you even do that? And I said, because I get fucking paid to do it, dumbass. Um, and on top of that, um, just because you don't like something doesn't mean you don't still don't want it to be good and don't you don't want to play it you know like i i play this game there are things there's things about other games that i don't like either but you just you you accept it for what it is i could easily sit here and accept this game for what it is and just play it like everybody else does but what i do is i try to point out things i don't like that are frustrating to the player because the the streamer with you know a million uh, subscribers or, you know, 10,000 viewers or something is not the only voice of the community and shouldn't be the only voice of the community. And right now, Bungie makes these games for those people and normal people who want to play a game and have fun and are not the try hard, sweaty, wannabe pros look at this game and they see these types of different things and they say, F I'm out. You know, I have a lot of videos that focus on all sorts of different aspects of this game. I try to cover all the bases. I have PvE videos. I have PvP videos. I have videos of us uh, failing. I have videos of us succeeding. I have videos of us making really cool plays. I have videos of us making really dumb fails. I have videos of raids. I have videos of strikes. I have videos of Gambit. I have videos that cover the entire spectrum of Destiny, good and bad. And when something happens in a game, and this has been the game for the last seven years that I have hung out in 
with friends. And when something is in the game that makes people not want to play it, people should speak up about that shit. And it's not, it's not about like, I don't like this because it makes me die. It's not about that. It's about things that are just anti-fun, anti-good for the game. You know, when when I talk to people, I talk to a lot of people about this game. Not just you guys in the chat, but friends, uh, people that used to play the game that don't play the game any anymore, people in the comment section, people on Twitter, people all over the place. I try to voice an opinion of the normal, typical gamer. That's been my audience. That's been how I try to approach things. I could easily sit here and do the hot swap glitch like everybody else is doing, do the cheese method on Atheon that everybody else was doing, sit here and do the, the perch strat, the insta-kill, the one phase over here that everybody else is doing, and then turn around and be like, this game's too easy, when is Bungie, you know, we're out of content, and all the kind of stuff that all the other people do. But I don't do that. I try to approach this game from what made it popular, which is a game that friends come in to have a good time in. Some players try to be good. Sometimes some players just try to, you know, collect stuff, all that kind of stuff. And when there's something in the game that is just anti-fun or it compromises the integrity of the game, like cheaters. Cheaters is something that compromises the integrity of the game. A bad mechanic. Uh incredibly bad grind in the game uh weapons not registering lag all the stuff that i complain about matchmaking the stuff i complain about is stuff that not only holds the game back but it's stuff that makes people not want to play and that's why it's a big deal um and budgie doesn't have to listen to me and I, if they never do listen to me, then I don't give a shit. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I want, play what I want, have fun, you know, but what if they do listen to me? What if I do say something that ends up, um, I don't know. I kind of think that I had a little bit of a hand in this curious of the falling star kind of think I had a hand in the hard light. I kind of think I had a hand in sparrow racing. I kind of think I had a hand in a few things. Um, I talked about matchmaking, lobby balance problems way before Bungie ever admitted it. There's been a lot of things I talk about and I bring up. And the hope is that you guys will then echo that message and that it gets back to Bungie. And maybe you guys, because sometimes I have a habit of saying something and it comes off sounding like an asshole. That's fine. Um, but the point is that you guys then take that message and then it echoes. Kind of like... They, uh, they even said about Arbalist. They mentioned in a recent podcast that the whole reason Arbalist got nerfed was because the community vocalized that it was too strong, even though the data didn't show its usage was above. Okay, that's fine. But there's some other things that need to be addressed in this game, too. And so I try to vocalize that kind of stuff. Is the detainment, is that ever going to change? No. Am I going to complain about it? Yes, absolutely, 100%. You know why? Because I hope they don't ever do this type of bullshit mechanic in another raid. That's my point. The reason why I say it all the time is because this kind of shit, this detainment shit, the tether mechanic in Garden of Salvation, that shit's not fun. There's a reason why we're not doing Garden of Salvation. And then uh, Fridge said, Ellie, did Ellie get Eyes of Tomorrow? No, I was actually going to make a video about how I think the uh, that whole bad luck protection shit is still broken and not working. That's stuff that makes people not want to play. And in you fact, know why you push him off the edge. In fact, Ellie does not want to do that raid because it's f***ing broken. <clears throat> and that kind of stuff. I have needs done to... that raid forty plus times. There's people on Reddit okay. that are at eighty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, like, that's the kind of stuff that needs to be brought up. If you like, we all want Destiny to be good, right? That's the goal. Like, people can shit on me all day for complaining and stuff but if you listen to what i'm saying i'm talking about things that will make the game better i may be angry when i'm saying it because it's it's ruining our experience but i'm i genuinely am bringing up stuff that will make the game better period every single time and i don't care if people get mad at me for that because all it takes is for people to say hey you know what badass has got a point lobby balancing is f why why is it constantly a mess. I don't even want to play Crucible. It's such a mess. Or, you know what? Bad luck, bad luck protection is still bugged. 
hey, badass has got a point. It's still a bug. Anyway. So yes, I have people tell me that all the time. Why do I play Crucible? To show people how bad it is. And to vocalize how bad it is. Because guess what? The people, to all those people out there that say, if you don't like it, don't play it. Guess what? People stop playing. I don't know if you know this, but the majority of the people that play Destiny 1 stop playing. <laughs> and, you know, how many friends do you guys have that have stopped playing this game for these different reasons? Quite a look, few. look at your friends list. Go through your friends list and, and look at all the people that you met in Destiny and then count how many of those people are still playing Destiny. Out of all the people you met in Destiny, how many people are still playing? And then ask why. Then be like, you know, why did they stop? Stasis? The grind? FOMO? The seasons? Doing the same shit over and 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 having to pay $10 for it? All these things that I bring up is is for that reason. Because I want, I want this game to be good because when it's good, we have a lot of fun in it.